I want to study nursing. School of nursing or university, which is better for me? Perhaps you found yourself in this situation and you've asked yourself this question a lot of times and you need clarity. Well, I want to tell you that you are not alone in this. And this is definitely a question I get very, very often. You're right on track on the right video. And I would like to welcome you to this page once again officially. Welcome to Nursing Moment with Sharon. If this is your first time here, well, welcome on board. Thank you very much for joining me here. Use the subscribe button, hit it, the like button and the share button. We're about to dive into a very, very much asked, frequently asked question. Yes, so please just stay right in track and um, stay to the end of this video. Yeah, so welcome back from the short break. And um, so school of nursing or university, which is better? Which should I go for? I want to study nursing. What should I do? Yeah. And I, I'm very sure we have a lot of questions we have in our minds right now. So we're going to be exploring from different perspectives. I like to break down my point so that it can be more understandable and more relatable. So first of all, we are going to talk about um, the first point, duration. First things first, duration. So the School of Nursing program is three years, <coughs> which some of us might already know. Well, the university program is five years. Yeah, so the School of Nursing is, runs for three years, while the university program runs for five years. And the School of Nursing program, it is run by the University Teaching Hospital of the state. Some also private, hosp private uh, hospitals also run it that are licensed to run it, but it is typically run by the university teaching hospitals, yeah, by the, by the Ministry of Health. While the university program, they are run by universities, by the universities themselves. Okay, so that's another difference. Then also for the School of Nursing program, after three years, you come out with, a diploma certificate you become a registered nurse you become a registered nurse so you come out with a registered nursing certificate while for the university program after five years you come out with your registered nursing certificate you become a registered you also become a registered midwife you take your midwifery exams also you some schools also take their public health exams so you also become a registered public health nurse and then the fight the fourth one you have your bs bnsc degree bnsc certificate from your university so that is four certificate in five years okay right so first of all these are the major differences between between this different routes, this different between these different study pathways in nursing. It is also important to note that the School of Nursing program has long been in existence before the university program was instituted, was um, began in Nigeria. So we have a lot of nurses that went to School of Nursing and they have a lot of years of experiences and they are yet to have their BNSC degree. So let's talk about the admission requirements. So for the School of Nursing route, if you're looking to study nursing through one of the schools of nursing in Nigeria, you have to get an admission form by into one of the by one of the university teaching hospitals of your choice. So once you make payments you have to present your your the required document is basically your o levels which is your work right so um and then you are admitted once you pass and you pass all the you pass all the saving and you pass the pts program right so um six which is for six months that is that is definitely a whole different ball game on its own which is for six months before you are finally admitted into the three-year program so which you finally then get your diploma certificate 
after three years you are admitted and you get your diploma rn certificate now from there you may choose to further and move on to do a post basic nursing a post basic nursing in any in any field of choice it could be midwifery it could be public health it could be mental health it could be perioperative health it could be anything really there are diverse fields so you may choose to do your post basic nursing in that field that post basic nursing it will last for another 18 months right so 18 months to do a post basic course after you have your registered nursing certificates okay yes then for the university route you have to write your jump like you're applying to like you're applying for any other course in the university and the general cutoff mark is 200 it could be higher in some universities but of course you're supposed to aim higher right to increase your chances then you some schools write the post utme some schools don't write the post utme but whatever obtains in whatever you're trying to apply to you um you present whatever needed credentials that are needed and you are admitted for a five-year program you're admitted for a five-year program then after that you get your qualifications get your rn rm b n s c okay but let us talk about the the advantages or so to say the disadvantages of either of the study programs a lot of people feel like okay school of nursing it is more practical based it is more these university nurses don't know anything really okay <laughs> yeah so um school of nursing is more is all that the university program is just there it's just superficial it's not in-depth school of nursing pro um, products they are more quality based than all okay so i'm just going to um, i'm just going to give i'm just going to give what it is on this two subjects on this on this on this comparison between school of nursing and the university so for the school of nursing program while everything is compressed and it's 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 really it's a really vigorous program and they barely have they barely even have enough time for themselves because everything that they have to cover their curriculum is so is so packed up and you have to cover everything in three years with your with also your um, your practical hours on the word which can be very very demanding and time tasking right so um Fact check, they get to spend more time in clinical postings. So School of Nursing students, the nursing students in School of Nursing program, they, ha they get to spend longer time in clinical postings. While the university program, they get to spend more time rather in classes, not in the, not in the clinical program. It is also practical based. Mind you, the both program are both theory and practical based, but for the university pro for the university program they don't spend as much time as the school of nursing students spend on the words in clinical postings okay so that is one difference another difference that you may want to consider while while trying to choose your choice is the cost school of nursing schools of nursing are very expensive they are they are very expensive you pay about 250 250000 naira in a session while in comparison with the university program federal universities of course they are very cheap they are very affordable even the state universities they are not as high as some schools of nursing yes so um so cost wise you may also want to consider cost wise then um so let's talk about career pathway for those two routes when you graduate from the School of Nursing program with your diploma certificate, in comparison with your nurse, with a colleague of yours that also graduates from the university with her degree, with her registered nursing midwifery and BNSC degree, and you both are, you both are looking to be accepted into the um, into a hospital, of course. 
the person that has a BNSC degree is definitely higher than the person that has just a very standard certificate. Okay, so for career options, you see that that is why you see a lot of nurses, a lot of nurse, a lot of nurses with their diploma certificates, they are looking for. They, are, they have to still go back to the university, into seek direct entry in Nigeria anyway. Seek direct entry using direct entry, then go back to two hundred level in the university to get their BNSC degree. This is a very long pathway and this might not be the best option for you, okay? But a more easy route is to travel abroad and get your one-year top-up degree to become a to become a BNSC degree holder in a registered country, in a registered, in a registered country of practice, yes. So um, that is one way, that is another way to look at it. But not every nurse gets this opportunity, right? Some still have to still cope with the Nigerian conditions and still spend another four years to get their BNSC degree. Okay, so this is not very favorable. This is not very, this is not very fair on them considering the length of time everything they have to still go back to the university so weighing options you see that you may want to go for a route that simply gives you everything you need all at once then after you graduate from the university what is your career pathway you can do your you can choose to specialize do your masters do your masters in any field of choice right you can do your masters in mental health in public health in chair in perioperative nursing in anesthesia in anything basically you can do your mental health in any of these fields then you can progress to do your phd and these are what we want to keep saying we want to keep saying nurses we want to see nurses advancing in different fields in technology mattering in what in health sectors and high up there not just stagnated and not just stagnated in one level of their career not moving forward yes yeah, so um so basically this career options for the two routes also give you also gives you a broader perspective into what into what you want and ultimately what will guide you to choosing the best study path for you when you wait what do you want to do with these degrees what do you want to see yourself doing with these degrees do you are you are you more are you more um are you more inclined into the clinical path are you more inclined do you just want to do you just want to settle do you just want to stay somewhere or do you want to move on do you want to scale up your career so either of those paths ways gives you the opportunity to, to do all of these things you just have to find a one that is more favorable to you one that is more conducive to you yes so and also for the job opportunities that we present of course the bnsc holder has a more diverse opportunities to choose from in terms of job looking for job opportunities yes you have more options you have more and of course the salary is more the payment is more definitely so if you've watched till the end of this video I'm very sure you have a more clearer perspective on the school of nursing route and the university route so which one do you which one is best for you you may want to consider the option of the the factors involved which is time which is your own financial resource, which is your um you your your present experience. You may want to consider a whole lot of other factors because okay, if you're considering the school of nursing route, then the best best for you should be to should be to travel out to a more developed country and do your BNSC degree for one year top up and get your BNSC degree not coming back to the university to the nigerian university and spending another four years give or take my minus question mark minus <laughs> minus or plus because uh, strike factors assume a girl strike different factors are involved yeah but if you're going for the university route which 
which according to this video is the recommended route of study right so um if you're going for the university routes you may you may have you definitely will have a more diverse option diverse field of options to choose from you can still do whatever you want you can still you can still um doesn't mean doesn't mean you're just okay with your bns degree there's still a lot of other there's still a lot of higher degrees you can get you can you start pursuing your msc start building your experience and after your BNSC, after your five years also, I've not mentioned this, you have to do your one year compulsory internship. One year compulsory internship program. Following your internship program, you do your NYSC. Yes, so that is give or take all together seven years. <laughs> so everything has their own advantages and disadvantages, right? So, um, but the school of nursing you don't have to do your internship you don't have to do any nyse you just do everything and, and you're done right okay so with these few points of mine i hope i've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that any of these routes that you eventually hope to choose should be based on your time the time you have the financial resource you have the um but else you may want to think of your future career goals what do you hope to achieve with these degrees you may want to think of okay um you may also want your present work experience your current work experience have you been have you been have you been exposed to any of these programs before or any experience at all in nursing so all of this may help you decide on the best bet for choosing a study route in nursing in nigeria right so thank you for sticking through to the end and we have officially come to the end of the video so if you have any questions you can put it in the comment section if you have any comments you can also put it in the comment session thank you very much this is still nursing moments with sharon my name is bukola sharon ayo once again and thank you for sticking through. remember that every moment counts in nursing moment do remember to hit the subscribe notification like share if you are yet to and stick true for our next official video bye for now see y'all